Hi, it's Peggy uh, Lee again, and I am here to share a junk journal page with me. Um, today we're doing day three of the junk, jan junk journal January, and number three is called Torn Edges. So I already did day one, I did day two, and now we're going to do day three. And it's called Torn Edges. And so I got thinking, I'm just going to do a simple collage for this day. And I went into my stash and found a few pieces of scrap paper. Um, I decided I wanted to use scrap paper and not waste a big sheet of paper. Um, so just grab whatever scraps you have left over and tear the edges and we're going to glue them down. Um, so, I should have enough glue to just use a regular glue. So I'm, I have some tea, coffee dye paper, I have some sewing pattern paper, I have some printable papers, um, I also have some tissue paper, pink with gold, and let's see what else I have. I have some vintage sewing pattern paper with the instructions. I have some dot tissue more tissue paper and printable, some book paper, some dictionary paper, some sh vintage sheet music. I also have, I have a whole pratha of scraps. Um, I also have a printable, I have some cardboard. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but this is always great to have in your stash for your junk journals. And I have some ledger paper and bookkeeping paper and I also have some um, tickets that I have extra laying around so I thought we might use one I'm not sure so let's get started so <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna build our own background paper on this layout so um, I'm gonna start with um, let's go ahead and start with this um, vintage sewing pattern paper. So I'm just going to take a portion of it and um, we're just going to collage. So all you need to do for that is just grab your stuff and um, you, and we want torn edges. So the, the distressed, torn, the best I guess. And so we're just going to start collaging. And I think I'll be able just to use regular glue. I don't think I need to grab um, Mod Podge. Try to use up the rest of this glue. And I'm just going to start placing them anywheres and everywheres. Okay? So we are going to just start placing them randomly. and putting them around our page. So we're basically making our own, basically making our own pattern paper. So that's the fun part of collaging is, is that you can create your own, your own patterns. I'm trying to get this up here so I can at least tuck it in. There we go. And I'll take a piece of this and we'll rip the edges off. So, so number three today was torn edges. So, which is actually one of my favorite um, things to do for um, crafting. I love to tear my edges of my papers. Love to do that. It is, it's actually kind of rewarding. All right, I'm gonna, I should have put this down last. I kind of want that on top. This is how I work. I don't always have a plan. Sometimes I just go for it and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. So I think I'm gonna put, we'll save that. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put this little this is a, actually a digital from 
um, I believe this one is from, it's either from Heather from rubyandpearl.xo or it's from Amity Bloom. So I, I, I can't say for sure. So I'm just gonna rip some of that and put that down here in the corner. So this has been fun actually videotaping for the days for the junk journal January. It's super fun to, to be able to share my love of junk journaling with you, documenting. It's very important to document your memories and sometimes we need a jumping off point and that's what this little um, piece of paper is, is. It's like, oh, torn edges and all of a sudden all the ideas start coming and they start flowing. And um, so that's what's super awesome is that um, ideas just start to flow. I love the numbers on the ledger so I definitely want that up in the corner and let's see I had a piece of paper here somewhere that I really really enjoyed and I'm gonna rip this off if you hear um, someone plucking a guitar my husband is downstairs in his shop working on a guitar and I think he's tuning it so if you hear the strum I think it's almost time to break out a new bottle I don't have one right with me once we get it flowing it's all good all right so I think I'm gonna put that like there and it doesn't have to be I'm not worrying about getting the whole um, coffee stain paper covered because um, it I like the coffee stain I'm looking for a certain piece of paper that I had here that I kind of wanted to put on here let's see it's the other thing that happens when you have a lot of papers <laughs> So I wanted this blue paper because the blue paper is in this one over here. And my battery is starting to die. So if my battery dies, I will share, I will um, have to just show you my finished layout later. I'm gonna keep going until my battery die dies. I've been re video recording all day, so, which is kind of fun actually. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this pink and gold um, uh, tissue paper. It's kind of fun. I'm gonna add that right there. I'm just gonna add the glue up here. Okay. I'm being, it's fun to be sloppy and messy and just go for it. Super fun. Okay, just adding some glue. So, so right now, basically, we have our collage done. It's just a collage background of different papers. So, I'm not quite done with it because I kind of want a focal point. Um, so I think I'm going to take some gesso because we've been doing gesso in all of our projects. And I'm going to grab some gesso and a paintbrush. And I'm just going to grab some gesso on a paintbrush. And I'm just going to um, just kind of go around the edges with the paintbrush. Just adding some texture here and there. Kind of like where the I didn't get actually didn't get a any paper down. And we're just gonna add some gesso here and there. And just 
kind of like scraping it on. And actually now I want a scraper. I'm gonna take a scraper out and get some gesso on there because I kind of want to do the whole drag down. I love that look, the whole drag down feel. There's just something about that look. Okay, so then that's done. And now we need my piece of paper that I am, I've lost, I've lost a piece of paper that I need. Just bear with me for a second, because I don't know what I do with it. I kind of need it. Does this ever happen to you when you're crafting? <laughs> it's actually the piece of paper with um, well. Hold on just a second. I kind of need it. <laughs> what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> so what I did with this is I took the same prompt and blew it up big, but my printer only printed half of it, so I gotta go back and reprint it. But what I'm doing is I'm basically cutting these little prompts out and gluing them onto my project. So it's a great way um, to use the prompt that that she provide that um, Meg provides for us, and we just use it right in our it says torn edges. So I'm actually going to put that hmm probably at the top maybe, but I'm going to add some ink around the edges. I got glue everywhere. Uh, let's see. Just gonna add some ink. I'm taking 